Well, let's have a look at just uh, at how much some of those tensions are spilling over here. I was uh, in a rally, support on the Syrian government. We was was peaceful rally. We don't have no problem. We all finished the rally peaceful. Everybody go home. Me and my wife, my kids, catch the train from uh, Martin Place to Sydney. And Sydney will have to change the bus. And that's where the, the trouble started. I was waiting in a bus station. I was having a cigarette and some guys come in. There were six of them, young people, between 20 to 25, something like that. A strong build. Because I was uh, having a poster of the President of Syria and the flag. They asked me, do you like that guy? I say yes. Next minute, I can't remember nothing. It's just the uh, bash me up. Maybe they follow me from the city. I'm not sure. But I see them waiting in, uh, in the front of the, the train station. They talk to me in Arabic. They Middle Eastern people. I reckon they were happy in. They call him or something like that. They have beer and no mustache. You know, I uh, remember they hit me with the steel on my head. There was blood everywhere. The police came and I went to the hospital with the ambulance. And I got uh, broken ribs, broken spine. I got uh, stitches in my eye and my head. And I stayed off work for a couple of months. My wife and my two kids, they witnessed the, the, everything. And my wife started to try to push them away from me, and they didn't go. And my wife always, you know, upset and, you know, scared about that. I'm very concerned about safety. Because these people is animal. What they've done is animal. There's laughter here from some of you. Why? <coughs> Tamar, why, why, why laughter? Um, discrepancy in his speech. He said um, the, the first thing that uh, he remember uh, was the hit and then he didn't remember anything and he gave explicit explanation of what happened after that. Mm -hmm. And he used the word Wahhabi. And he used the word Wahhabi from the slang. 